I have met many people who have set themselves the very noble task of reading all the books that C.S. Lewis wrote. There's about 40 of them out there. I think that is a wonderful thing to do, but if you are thinking about doing that, I would suggest that one of the last Lewis books you read is The Pilgrim's Regress. It is quite brilliant in its own way, but it is very difficult and esoteric. It is, in fact, the first book Lewis wrote after his conversion to Christ, his first Christian book. It is a allegory of Lewis's spiritual journey. It is based on the Pilgrim's Progress, as you would guess. In The Pilgrim's Regress, a young pilgrim named John grows up in, in the world or the, or the city of Puritania, and religion to him is hypocritical. Everybody wears masks. But then he gains a vision of an island with wise men studying on it, and he's filled with a yearning and a desire to find that island, and he goes off on a search for the beautiful thing he's seen. But he keeps falling off track. He keeps following false lures. Uh, sexuality is a false lure. A aestheticism is a false lure. Many of the isms, idealism and stoicism, are all dead ends that stop John from making it to the end of his journey to finding the truth. Well, on the map of Pilgrim's Regress, there is the North and the South. The South is a place of hot hedonism. But the North, which seems to test Lewis even more, is a place of cold rationalism. And while he's there, he comes face to face, in allegorical terms, with the modernist teachings of people like Marx, Freud, and Darwin. He is thrown into a prison, whereas there is a giant who is also an x-ray. And when the giant turns his x-ray eye on the prisoners, what happens is, suddenly, Lewis, rather than seeing them as regular people, sees through them sees their brain and the passage of their nose, and suddenly he's horrified by what he sees and can no longer believe in goodness, truth, or beauty. What is Lewis talking about here? Marx, Freud, and Darwin were all very different, but they all shared something in common, and that is they were reductive thinkers. Darwin reduced everything to the forces of natural selection. Freud reduced everything to unconscious and subconscious urges, often sexual ones. Uh, uh, Marx reduced everything to economic means and modes of production. What happens so much in the modern world, and it's carried on today, is this idea of trying to explain everything by one simple thing, like Darwinian evolution. That is reductive. It has the same effect as an x-ray. You train that x-ray on us and we lose our humanity and we become merely products of natural, material, economic, or even unconscious urges. Christianity offers us a way back to true humanism.